coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's Archer's Choice. Bacon. Can you say bacon? That's it. This week's show here in Alberta is Tagged Out Tuesday. This week, well, we are bearing down in Alberta. Yeah, we're heading up north with one of our favorite places to go, South Peace Outfitters. Yep. Don and the boys, and we're going to head up there and we're going to be hunting some bears. And we'll have Hoppy and Sage are going to be in camp with us. They're like following us everywhere. They are. But it's like family. But they you are family. You camp and, yep. you know, and it's just a camaraderie. It's all that other fun stuff that we get to do. You know, what's really cool is we've bear hunted a long, long time. And you get to a point where you really are trying to be more selective, holding off and waiting for there's no, no brainers. And this week, well, we waited. So don't go anywhere, we have lots to share with you. Bear down, baby. Ralph and Vicki arrive in Alberta, Canada, home to South Beast Outfitters. South Peace offers hunting opportunities in an 1,800 square mile area of the Peace River region of northwestern Alberta. The region has a perfect balance of boreal forest and agricultural land, yielding a strong population of trophy quality big game. The agricultural lands provide important food sources for wildlife while the forested lands, water bodies, and river valleys offer shelter and safe refuge for big game and bird populations. Back at the lodge, a hearty meal awaits the crew and hunters who waste no time in digging in. Bellies full and ready to hunt, the team packs up to head out for the evening. Bacon, baby. We use this at home and when we spray it, we get RJ wakes up like right now and he follows the trail to the lawn mower and we get him to do the lawn. Don't think Northwoods bear products are just for bears. It'll work for the kids too. Because of the remote hunting locations, the crew turns to their trusty Yamaha side-by-sides for both performance and dependability as they travel across the rugged terrain. So one of the things when we're hunting out of our mare steps though is as we're sitting there waiting and you have to like practice patience and You're understand, a hunter, you have patience. understand that you know what, yeah, we, we have multiple bears in on some of these spots that we're sitting, 
And it gets a little nerve wracking. They come up, they start sniffing the blind, they might be pulling on the it's blind. Pretty cool. It's an adrenaline rush for sure. I mean, that's it's not for everyone, but it's a lot of fun. I find it fun. But as you're sitting there, you do have to have patience. You do have to sit there and hope that maybe that big guy or that color face that you're waiting for shows up. We're sitting there and all of a sudden this big no-brainer, huge Bruin shows up. I mean, he shows up, he's got a crease, he's just, he's just, he's a big black bear. I mean, solid black bear. My heart starts pumping and I'm realizing, you know what, I'm like, this could be one of the biggest black bears I've ever shot. This is, this guy is just huge. We're sitting there and I'm just waiting for him to present me a shot and he's milling around and he's not giving me a shot that I'm comfortable with. I mean, this is a big bear. What we know is that usually a bear will come in, mill around, it may walk away, it may come back through. You never know. But if you have patience, it's going to happen. Well, this big bear came in, milled around, and never presented me the shot that I was comfortable taking from my Ameristep. And you know what? He turned around and he walked away. And I thought, it's okay, he's going to come back. He never came back. Like, I sat there waiting with my bow on my lap. But you know what? It was an honor and a blessing to even to witness this big giant Bruin in God's creation and just to be able to sit there in the woods knowing that it's me and him. And that's it. While out of the woods, the lodging at South Peace Outfitters provides hunters with great food, fellowship, and a chance to unwind. Before long, the crew packs up their gear for the evening, optimistic about encountering some big old Bruins that roam this time of year. It's the craziest time of the day. All the baits are getting ready and we're ready to get loaded up and ready to go. And bacon, can you say bacon? I think your camera's crooked. We saw two bears last night, and uh, I think a total of 14 bears were seen last night. So now we're going to a spot last year where I shot a really good bear on the last night. Big old black bear, 19 plus inch skull, I mean a stud. And we're going back there tonight, and Vicky's going down the, I think the, the pipeline, creeks, I'm not sure. I forget the names.
He was right there. We're in a really good spot. You know, that's one of the things, Don, Tyler, Ryan. These guys have baits year after year after year, so these bears know where they want to be. And that's why, you know, this is one of the places you're going to go and you're going to see multiple bears. And you just never know what Mama Luke is going to walk in. One of the reasons we use scents isn't just kind of like as a cover. I mean, we use our scent away sprays. It's an attractant. But it's also, it's an attractant. You're yeah, trying yep. to get those random bears that are walking through. You want them to get it on their paws. You want them to go ahead and walk through the woods so it brings other bears back in. Yep, and I mean, the bottom line, especially you've maybe even heard of the grease pits, right. where the guys will put the scent down along, you know, anywhere near the area. These other bears walk in, they get it on their pads, they disperse, they go out, and all they're doing is they're taking that scent and spreading it out. Bears moving in because this time of year, you've got all these big boars traveling, right. the sows are traveling. Boom, they get on that, they come and investigate. Throughout the evening, the crew has seen several non-shooter bears. Suddenly, a potential shooter emerges from the woods and Ralph prepares for a shot. Oh. 
Well, we text Ryan and Don, and because tonight there's like bears down everywhere, they came to get it. There's where we shot from. The bear was right here. And he, he ran up this way. I mean, we heard him crash right down there somewhere. Yes, sir. He, he come this, and then he went that way. I was just looking for blood. There he is, right there. Don's right in front of him. Yeah, buddy. Nice bear, huh? Don, <laughs> come on, brother. <laughs> this is why we come with the man. Here, South Peace, Don Lind, Ryan. What a beautiful bear. I told Chas, I said, there's no way you pass this bear up. <laughs> no way. I mean, you're talking about another Pope and Young bear here yep. with Don. Oh, he's gorgeous. That's it. Yep. This week's show here in Alberta is Tagged Out Tuesday. <laughs> Isn't he gorgeous? Thanks, guys. Ryan. Don. Thank you, brother. Well, Beeman's baby. And we just shot him with the new um, Spitfire Double Cross. And how far did he go? You said like 40? Maybe 40. Maybe 40. Maybe 40. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we're here. Right here. Yeah, baby. Perfect. Mature bear. Thank you, Lord. This is what you do. You drive for hours on the Yamahas, and then you, you pull up on the trailer, and then you drive for a ways back to camp. Back at camp, Ralph reunites with Vicky and the other hunters, quickly discovering he isn't the only one who harvested a good-looking bear. With five beautiful Bruins down, everyone is thankful for the opportunity South Peace has to offer. Look at that, guys. Yep, this is why you come to South Peace. Tomorrow's our night, Hoppy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can have a story one day. Thank you. I, I'm going to tell you, that was a no-brainer bear. That and was a no-brainer And we waited. Bear. I mean, you guys waited. And the thing was, is we had our spy points out, and we saw different bears. And like you said at the beginning of the show, you know, we're kind of holding out. We're, we're, you know, we're seeing a certain bear, and sometimes you just have to wait. And well, you waited, and And the big thing is, you know, going with Don up in Alberta, you, you can take two bears. Right. And a lot of hunters, almost all his hunters, end up taking two bears. Right. We're sort of just being more selective, holding out. And then there's nothing wrong with, no. with it. Just I mean, if two big no-brainers walked in, guess what? We're shooting two. Yeah, I mean that's the crazy and, thing. And but. I mean, we had a great time up there and having camp with everyone involved. Oh, and we I mean, hop and it's one of those great things. And Don, everyone up at South Peace, we want to thank you guys for having us up there again, and um, we want to thank you guys for watching this week's show. We'll see you next week, same time, same channel, right here with Ralph and Vicky, only because he shot a bigger <sighs> bear. Actually, he shot. So a bear that means so. each week, if if I if you recognize that I shoot something way more massive than yours. Um, so you get this week and that's it. <laughs> See you next week. Yeah.